Hello, this is meteorologist Keith Stellman with the National Weather Service in Peachtree City. This is the weekly weather briefing for June 14th. Water vapor satellite imagery from 7 a.m. this morning shows the upper level system which moved through the area Thursday, causing all of the severe weather across the eastern half of the country. An upper level ridge of high pressure is building in from the west over the weekend and will keep our weather relatively quiet. This graphic shows the GFS model forecast for 8 p.m. tonight. The front which caused all of the severe weather will be located along the Gulf Coast and dry weather will be in store for us as an upper level ridge of high pressure located over Louisiana moves into the region. These two graphics show the high temperatures both Saturday and Sunday. Not much change from Saturday to Sunday with upper 80s forecast across North Georgia and lower 90s across Central and South both days. We will see some 90s creep north on Sunday as moisture and south winds return out ahead of our next weather maker starting Monday. By Sunday morning, the ridge of high pressure, which will provide a nice weekend for us, begins to flatten as an upper level disturbance approaches from the west. This next disturbance will drag a front into the region by Monday and increase rain chances for a portion of next week. By Monday afternoon, showers and thunderstorms will be developing ahead of an upper level disturbance and associated cold front moving through the mid-Mississippi Valley. Rainfall amounts could pile up quickly as models are forecasting high levels of moisture in the atmosphere ahead of this next system. By Tuesday afternoon, the front will be moving into Georgia and showers and thunderstorms will continue to be possible across the region. Models begin to differ on how far south the front actually gets. The GFS model, shown here, takes the front further south on Tuesday, while the ECMWF, not shown, keeps the front further north across Georgia. The end result is that the forecast becomes more uncertain beyond the Tuesday time frame. By Wednesday, the GFS model indicates the front will stall across southern Georgia, and showers and thunderstorms will again be possible there. Across north Georgia, the forecast is a little more uncertain, however, showers and storms cannot be ruled out. This graphic depicts several different model total rainfall forecasts through next Thursday. The top left is the 06Z 614 run of the GFS. Top right is the 0Z 614 run of the ECMWF. And the bottom left is the Friday morning official rainfall forecast from WPC. All of the models differ slightly in their amounts, but all are consistent in suggesting that some heavier rainfall is possible for portions of North Georgia early next week. The worst case is the ECMWF in the upper right showing a little over three inches across North Georgia. In summary a nice weekend is in store for most of Georgia. Temperatures Saturday and Sunday are expected to range from the upper 80s to lower 90s. By Monday rain chances increase with the approach of our next weather system. Rain chances could linger across the area through Thursday depending on how far south the actual cold front gets. Models do differ somewhat on the Wednesday and Thursday forecast next week based on this frontal position.